confused. I can't get this to work. since I've made some live jacket content and a lot has changed. We got a brand new, wait, I got a brand new pool. <laughs> Let me show you the pool remodel that I got for my pool. <laughs> I am doing this not to brag, but to show you my pool. <laughs> we got brand new coping, new skimmer tilings that I physically cannot lift, nor can I see, because it's really bright out and I can't really see the screen of the iPhone, but um, this is it, and you stick your finger in there. You try to lift it. And now we have an accent wall with a ledge. <laughs> and it's not just a wall, it is also a water fountain. That's kind of just basically all of the upgrades to the pool. This is supposed to be the last warm day of summer and a storm is brewing and there's some thunder in the distance. So I'm gonna do a rapid fire life jacket review. The back float test. Oh my God, my soul is so cold. Okay, so now it's getting kind of closer and I'm getting out. Okay, I'm bored of this. I'm trying to find the perfect swimsuit to match my life jacket, where it looks complimentary, but I, I don't wanna make it look like that I'm trying too hard. Swimsuit number one is my fluorescent pink bikini. It's just a very bright, solid look. The vibrancy makes me look tan, because I don't tell you that I'm very pale right now. And it's a little cheeky, but it's actually not all that revealing. It just looks that way because of the cutouts. Well, you know, it could be just also a little revealing. The two dominant colors in this life jacket are yellow and pink. There are a lot of different shades of pink. So I feel like to, you know, a certain way, certain angle, you can find the exact same pink in here. I have a cute little accent knot, so I have to be careful not to zip it up. I know it's super cute because the swimsuit alone is super cute. I got my little tail here, which honestly, if I was just casually floating, I'd probably disregard. Like I'd probably tuck it right in here. It is a little bit snug when I add this final strap. And when I sit upright, and yeah, it can make me a little self-conscious. Next, black and white. String bikinis are a little hard for me, so whenever I make knots, they're most likely in the front and easy access for me to put on and off by myself. But I like it. It looks effortless, like I only had a few minutes to run out to Laguna Beach to meet my family. Like, just easy knots, just a loose fit. Could have done more snug, but I kind of like it loose because my hair's tossed up and it's just very relaxed. And so the reason why I thought maybe it would be good with this is just because the whole tie-dye watercolor look is kind of blotchy. And I will say this is kind of blotchy. This is like the rainbow layer, the extension of my outfit. I might just be making things up, but hey, like there's nothing in the front to get in the way of this zipper. When I'm out in public and I'm out in the elements and maybe kind of nearby some immature people, I get a little self-conscious in a string bikini because it doesn't take much to fall off, which, you know, sounds hot for you, for everybody else. For me though, um, it's a little unexpected. And then it gets really awkward trying to put it on together because then I'm trying to like 
hold it up with my hands and then maneuver the string. Like, it's just a very awkward time. When the knots unravel and my swimsuit betrays me, at least I still have my backup. The typical sporty look. I wear these together all the time, but they're not a matching set. They're two different brands. But for the top, I love like the ribbed, ribbed, <laughs> ripped, <laughs> ribbed texture. And then the strappiness in the back is perfect. And then when it comes time to these bottoms, they do have a lot more coverage, but this is actually very sporty material. But should I not be wearing the life jacket and I'm walking like this, totally on purpose. Instead of like a fit check, I feel like in the end, it's just a bottom check. Like how do these bottoms look? And then this is a lot more strap friendly. I wonder what swimsuit I chose. My favorite one, of course. But this swimsuit is perfect because look, it is the same blotchiness that I was talking about before. But if you carefully look, this blue color is in the life jacket. And so now it matches a lot better. I'm soon gonna be retiring this swimsuit, not by choice, but um, it's kind of on its last leg with the elastic. So if you can find a replacement one, please send that to my PO box. <laughs> I know I've been asking a lot, but over time these swimsuits, I fall in love with them and then they wear down and then I can't really wear them in the pool anymore. So I'm hoping to get a replacement before swim season. Ow. <laughs> probably give this video a like just so I know that you like it. There we are. You tell me which one was your favorite. Oh, the sun be blazing in my eyes. I didn't have any tanning oil, so I used some butter from my fridge. Oh, I'm making some waves. Oh, no. Some of the channels are pretty good, but like, I'm not paying for the entire package. Oh wait, it's free? Well, yeah, I'll subscribe. You should too. We have this life jacket that I am going to try to clean, but I only have these drying vinegar wipes. So I'm gonna try my best to clean it. So I'm going to take a wipe. Oh no. Okay. I have this one wipe. And even though I was worried because they're old, it still feels very lubricated. So now 
I'm going to take the life jacket. It's been in the pool and it's been outside, so it has texture, texture on it. So. Life Jacket TV gets a little weird past two in the morning.